this is Michael King. Glad that you've come along tonight to the official launch of Light of Hope. This is Candice Long and I just want to say thanks so much to Brenda for um, letting me be a part of this project. It was, it was a lot of fun and it was really worthwhile. So um, I really hope that you are blessed in everything that you do. Hi, this is Anthony Snape. I wish I could be there with you guys tonight to help celebrate the launch of the album and the track So This Is Life. It was great fun recording, and it was great working with Brenda Lee and Scott on the project. I'm in the USA, and I've just come off touring with Tommy Emanuel down the east coast of America. Have a fantastic night tonight, and I wish everyone involved in this project much success. See you later from Nashville, Tennessee. So, so this is life. What's it all? Street today. A couple. Yeah, I know the people who scoffed the pies are there. You missed something fantastic. And it was on the news tonight too. Absolutely hilariously funny. Cat uh, Grant. Light of Hope is a beacon of light in these changing times. From a life changing event comes a life affirming collection of songs. Brian Heathcote, Michael Grant, and Matthew Stanley. Bless you all. So basically what this song is about across the Rubicon is once you go forward, you can't go back. It's a positive song and uh, Brad's done a fabulous job with it. And Julius Caesar also, that's where the phrase, the die has been cast, it comes from as well. Across the Rubicon means once you go forward, you can't go back. So I'm going to leave you with Brad. So but you were a grade 8 history student at school, weren't you? <laughs> I didn't take history. <laughs> I took all the arty farty ones. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'd like to um, congratulate you tonight. And, uh, I think Scott and yourself should be very proud of Light of Hope. And thank you for letting me be part of your journey. And I wish you every success with the future of uh, Meat Pie Music and whatever you used to. Okay? Oh, thank you, Brad. That's thank so you. lovely. And, and such a great artist. We need to see more of him. So let's hope when we release his as a single that he's all get behind it if you hear it. Give it a hoot and give it a, a whirl on the radio, mate. Get it requested. Please make welcome Bradley and Cross the Rubicon. We sing the 49 BC and I am Julius Caesar. There's a whole lot to learn from history. The light went across the river. Comes a time in every life, you gotta say goodbye. It's always hard and mostly sad, it's so time to take a ride. It's my stride across the room because it's my brain that wants to go. Fully know it once you go, there ain't no turning back. Tomorrow there's a new day, yesterday is gone. I take a big deep breath and just keep marching on. the song into the um, ASA Awards last year and it won the Rudy Bransmeyer Award Woo! which is good. Thank you. Um, I'd like to see it over there if anybody wants to have a look just, just so you can get a little backstory more than anything that you can see how the album came about. And it was chosen out of about 4,000 songs so we thought well if a song could have that much impact that was directly from the heart what if we tried writing a whole album of songs like that? Could could we do it? Could I do it? Could I, I don't know. You know, I don't even know to this day how those songs came out. Uh, we're going to keep rolling along with the music here because we, um, we want you to hear all these songs of these wonderful artists that have contributed to the album. Sharon is is one of the first and foremost reasons this album started. As I said before, we became friends.
uh, on the phone long before we ever met face to face. Although we kind of knew what each other looked like in a weird kind of way. <laughs> well, we had websites. Um, but Sharon was the one who asked me to write a song and I wrote So This Is Life. If I hadn't have written that song, I probably would never have written this album. And then we were having, I remember we were having a jokes, jokes about the uh, Deadly Awards at uh, Sydney Opera House and the Rudy Bransmer Award and we were, I remember Brent said, oh, wouldn't it be a... Wouldn't it be a... <laughs> not quite the word, but um, yeah, if we both won and of course Brent won hers and I got, um, I got to win the most promising new talent, so... Yeah. Yeah. Um, this song Brent has written, uh, How's Your Journey Going? Um, it's just one of the most beautiful songs I heard and I don't know about the other guys over here that performed tonight. Um, with this one for me, it was as if she wrote it for me, about me. So it was very personal and yeah, I had a cry over this one too. But it's beautiful, <laughs> yeah. absolutely beautiful. So I hope I do it justice for you tonight. Thank you, Sharon. And thank you to Laurie for coming and playing a beautiful pedal steel. And, and Laurie donated his time. He didn't ask for any money to come and play up the session work. Thank you very much, Laurie. We did it up here in Gary Brown's studio. Um, I think I saw Gary before. Did you hear Gary? He was here before. Um, if you want some music recorded here in town, go up to Hilltop Studios. Gary Brown, he'll do a great job. We recorded the vocal track down here and came down to meet uh, Sharon because she was coming across from Doha and we tried to make it. So it wasn't too much for everybody, not too far for you and not too far. So hope, hope you enjoy this one. Please make welcome Sharon Lane and how's your journey going? I'm Paul Matecki. I'm Helen Matecki. And we are the Mateckis. Good day, Australia. It good sure, day. Yeah, it sure is good to be here. And uh, you know, it's a great cause for uh, the great upcoming fantastic CD, Light of Hope. Thank you so much, Brenda. Thank you so much, Scott, for uh, having faith in us and giving us the honor to be part of such a great project. We are so happy to be uh, involved in uh, such a great cause. Is that right, Helen? It's great. Honored, actually. Brenda Scott, I can't wait to meet She's you guys. Uh, we're saving home. pennies to uh, come to Australia. She doesn't want can't to wait for that, Paul. It's uh, a wonderful cause. Uh, unfortunately, it's uh, it due to uh, something that uh, happened so to uh, Brenda's brother, and we are so uh, sorry about uh, what happened to, uh, to Brian. Uh, hopefully everything uh, will turn out great uh, with this fantastic so CD. It's a, like I say, it's a great cause. We are so humbled and honored to be part of it. Uh, 
can't wait to get back there. Uh, hope you like the song. I hope uh, you DJs are gonna play it. Uh, it's great to be uh, with so many wonderful uh, Australian artists. You guys are the best. Uh, Brenda, you're my favorite Australian songwriter of all time. Uh, Scott, you're a wonderful producer. Loved what you did with the song. Uh, come crying to me. You're gonna hear it in uh, just a few minutes. Uh, thanks so much again. Uh, can't wait to get back to Australia. Loved my time in Tamworth and Mildura. And uh, hopefully next time uh, I get there, I'll have uh, this good-looking woman with me. You don't have to say we. We're saving pennies. We're saving our that pennies. Me too, Paul. One at a time. <laughs> Uh, All right, what do you got to say, Paul? Well, Brenda wanted us to uh, let you know that we were uh, nominated once again for European Country Music uh, Duo of the Year. Unfortunately, we lost to a, uh, two guys named uh, Brooks and Dunn or something like that. But that's okay. We love what we're doing, and we're so happy and humbled to be part of uh, the Light of Hope. Thank you so much, Brenda. God bless you guys. Thanks, Scott, and uh, hopefully we'll see you real soon. All the best, and here goes. The eyes of Texas are upon you.